everybody. Happy Tuesday. Um, for those of you, I know we're calling in from several parts of Ontario today, but um, I hope that when you look outside, you see the sunshine wherever you are today. And oh my goodness, thank God, well-awaited sunshine today. We need it. So um, thank you all so much for joining us today. Um, so welcome to the Support Hers event. Um, so we have five fantastic entrepreneurial support organizations joining us today, and we all have one common goal. We love and all support female entrepreneurs, and we are all here to help you. And today the goal is to really share information, resources, programs available to all of you um, in all different capacities, resources, events, the whole mixture of everything. Um, and it's so rare that we all get to share the same stage and uh, really be there to hear each other out and to all feel seen in what we uh, what we need as entrepreneurs. So that's why we're here today. And uh, so I want to do a quick welcome and perhaps you can do a little wave um, when I call you out, um, just so everyone is acquainted with every Everyone here in the room. Um, so first off, uh, from Epicenter, um, my name is Lauren Bodie. I work with Epicenter here in Windsor, Ontario. We are located at the University of Windsor, right on campus here. And I'm joined today by my colleague, Sydney Thompson. So we are here from Epicenter. We're so excited to share a bit about um, us and what we do. Um, so next up is the Paro Center for uh, Women's Enterprise. So we have Maitri and Renee joining us today from Paro. Thank you so much. Um, and a third group today from the forum is uh, Libin. So give it a little shout out. Amazing. Thank you. Um, and then we have uh, Duania from the Canadian Small Business Women group. Thank you, Duania. Uh, and then finally, last but not least, uh, we have Victoria joining us today from the Community Development Council in Durham. Thank you so much. Wonderful. So welcome to everybody who's here with us. Thank you for being here. And without further ado, um, I'm going to ask uh, my partners to switch their cameras off for just a moment. And uh, we're going to start, uh, Epicenter is going to begin with our presentation. Okay. And we have obviously access to the chat. So if any of you all have questions or um, you know, want to pop anything into the chat during the presentations, please feel free and we'll answer as, uh, as we go. All right, perfect. So I'm just going to share my screen and we will start with the Epicenter presentation. All right, let me hit the full screen. Sydney, can you confirm that you can see that on your end? Yes, looks great, Lauren. Perfect. Thanks a million. Awesome. Great. Okay, let's get started. Okay. All right. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us on today's call. There are a number of support partners here, and we all do phenomenal, amazing work. Um, but today we're going to cover, you know, just a few things that we do at Epicenter and how we support women entrepreneurs. One thing I really love to stress, though, is that if you have any questions, if you want to learn anything more about Epicenter, if you want us, you know, to go a little bit more in detail about some of our programs and services, please reach out to us at any time. That's one thing I absolutely love about our team at Epicenter is that we're all so welcoming. So please uh, don't ever hesitate if you're looking to reach out and to have a conversation one to one. But just want to also quickly shout out Lauren for organizing this event. Lauren works with us at Epicenter, but she also is just a major support for women entrepreneurs and have worked with countless women uh, female founders. And so Lauren, thanks so much for putting this event together. So I'll uh, have you hop over to the next slide. So as Lauren mentioned, Epicenter is uh, a formally campus linked accelerator. And so essentially we have different programs and services that are here to support entrepreneurs. So we don't only support current students. We do a lot, a lot of work with um, alumni, but also community members who have no association with the university at all. So we really do a lot of programs, a lot of events, competitions. We do a lot of presentations, all sorts of things that stem down to supporting entrepreneurs from all walks of life. 
So um, one of the ways that we do that is through our Venture Women program. So we've been running this program since 2020. Um, we're now actually running our sixth cohort. We've supported nearly 40 women founders in this program, and it's been a phenomenal success. And so um, it right now the program is structured as a four month program. And so every person in the program receives $2,500 in funding to go to their business. Uh, there's also a lot of different workshops, uh, networking opportunities. Each person in the program also gets the chance to work very closely with mentors and advisors. So you get, again, really great holistic services, um, but also phenomenal networking opportunities as well. And so at the end of the program, we do something called our final pitch competition. And that's where each person in the program will pitch their business uh, to a panel of judges and there's additional cash prizes to be one. So for anyone on the call, I know we have some from virtual folks calling in from, from other cities, but if you wanted to make the trip down to Windsor um, and check out our pitch competition, it'll be hosted on Monday, May 6th uh, from three to six o'clock and it'll be hosted here at our, at our main center. Uh, this is a video series of the program members uh, that were in the cohort in 2022. So as you can see, the videos are just kind of bite sized These are all phenomenal founders. One thing I love about Venture Women is that we've never, you know, focused on one particular business type. We've supported women in technology. Zuli here, she's a food entrepreneur. Um, Sarah in the second list there is a muralist. Like it's been this massive range of women entrepreneurs we've supported. So go to our YouTube channel, check out this playlist and to learn a little bit more about some of those folks. Uh, I wanted to mention this program as well because we also see a lot of female founders applying to our social enterprise program. And so um, we're actually running this program right now. It will actually formally kick off next week. But very similar to Venture Women, it's a four month program. You get access to funding, access to mentorship, advisory services. So although the program period is closed right now, this will be run again in 2025. Um, so please check out this, this opportunity another great way for women entrepreneurs to receive support. Amazing. Thank you, Sydney. I'm going to take over this uh, particular slide. Um, uh, so this is a program that we started in January 2022, and um, this is more of an outreach series. Um, so we've done virtual events, and starting this year, we're uh, going to be amping up with in-person networking events, which is very exciting. Um, so it's a partnership with the embassy and consulates of the United States in both in Toronto and in Ottawa. And um, we've been so fortunate to partner with that organization to bring the stories of American female entrepreneurs and really bring those out, right? So each entrepreneur in each session, it's an interview style where we go back and forth and we really dive deep into their journey, where they began, what inspired them to get started. Um, were there any female entrepreneurs or mentors that really lifted them up along the way? What challenges they faced. And the beauty of it is that each one has a different industry focus. So what we've done is we've been working with different faculties and even different entrepreneurs in that particular industry and essentially inviting that crowd of folks to really join in and hear firsthand from an entrepreneur, right? As we all know in this group, whether you support entrepreneurs or you are one yourself, the best stories in the world come from folks who start their own businesses. So we have the privilege to hear hear those stories. So um, we have we've done eight sessions, or rather, we've done nine altogether um, because we just had one a few weeks ago, um, and we have another event coming up this Thursday uh, where we're going to be interviewing Karen Chu, um, and she's a techpreneur from uh, San Diego or San Francisco, excuse me. Um, and she's gonna be uh, sharing her experience in app development and working as a woman in technology. So we have that coming up on Thursday and then um, coming up in March, we're very excited to be uh, gathering in person here on the University of Windsor campus 
for our Network Her event. So this event will consist of speakers, two speaker presentations, a beautiful discussion afterwards, and some networking. So um, all of the registration for this is located on our website, um, and the link is there. And I'm happy to connect with any of you individually and send you an invitation so you all can join us in person for that. So looking back, um, as I mentioned, we've done nine sessions already, and each one actually has been documented on our YouTube channel. Um, so we have uh, we have had the, the the joy of hearing those stories again and again, and being able to re-listen and re-watch them. Um, and each uh, female entrepreneur actually provided their favorite inspirational quote, which is a nice little addition of motivation. Um, for, for all of those folks. We could all use that motivation always. Um, and the other opportunity that's coming up actually here in March with Epicenter is a program also through that partnership with the consulate, the embassy and consulates of the United States um, called the Mentorship. Um, so this is a program that's available for female entrepreneurs that want to uh, expand their products or their offerings to the United States or seek mentorship on strategy, business management, legal, all of these different aspects. So um, this isn't up quite yet on our website. So you all are getting a very inside information here, which is exciting. Um, but applications will be open on March 1st. So um, keep an eye on our website for this. If any of you are interested in, uh, in seeking that mentorship from fantastic mentors, they're actually um, located right over in Michigan. Um, we're partnered with a group called called International Strategic Management. So they have mentors in several different aspects that are there to help you out with, uh, with different aspects of your business. So keep in touch with us for that one. And I'll pass it over back over to Sydney to share a beautiful success story. So as Lauren and I were building this presentation, you know, it's it's sometimes hard to highlight just one because, like I said, we've supported nearly 40 women in this program, but we wanted to highlight Taylor um, because she actually just opened up her uh, new storefront location here in Windsor. So she does run a charcuterie company called All On Board, and Taylor is so incredibly successful. Um, and so one thing that we, Lauren and I, both loved about this highlight is that. On the left hand side, she's actually standing beside Sarah Robbins, who is also um, a member of our Adventure Women program. She's a graduate. And so one thing that's a lot of fun for us is to see these women partner and collaborate together, you know, so many years after the program has finished. So I think that just goes to show, you know, the impact too of the networking opportunities that you get in, in some of these stories. But shout out to Taylor. If you're looking for any charcuterie needs, she's definitely your go to gal. So with that, like I said, um, for anyone on the call today looking to learn more, if you'd love to set a, a virtual call, Lauren and I are, are always available and love to, to meet and learn more about some of the things that you're working on. So I really encourage you to reach out anytime, always happy to uh, collaborate and, and, and chat. Awesome. Thank you all so much for listening to our, our little uh, chat about Epicenter. And um, we're going to hear from four other presenters coming up. Um, but at the very end of the session, we will have some breakout rooms. So feel free to pop into the breakout rooms, ask your additional questions of these fabulous uh, organizations. And with that, I'm going to stop sharing my screen here. And I am going to pass the floor over to Renee um, and Maitri from Pero. Um, thank you. So could you just allow the share screen, please, Lauren? And then I have a yes. timer. I promise everybody it will be 10 minutes. Don't be overwhelmed. I talk fast. <laughs> uh, okay, it's still disabled. I think I've done there it there, it Renee. Okay, we will start at the beginning where things all go. Um, thank you everybody for being here. I'm joined with my by my, my exceptional colleague, Maitri Mou. My name is René Gendron, and I'm the lead regional coordinator for an organization called PERO. PERO is Latin for I am ready. A very quick overview. Um, we serve all of Ontario and we are in the process of rolling out our programs across, um, the, across Canada. 
Our headquarters is in Thunder Bay. I'm in Ottawa. Maitre is in Windsor. We have been in operation for over 30 years and we are, you know, very happy to serve women where they're at. So in a nutshell, what do we do? We do free business counseling. We have biz camps to help women scale, grow and export. We have a lot of networking opportunities. We have a lot of educational opportunities and we also are, are the largest women centric peer to peer lender in North America. If you want to know peril, this is the slide to know. The rest are going to be rapid fire, so bear with me. Okay, so we start from startups. Are you, do you actually want to start a business or do you want to work in the field? We help you with that. We help you with ideation and we help you with the, the, the startup business plan to actually launch your business. Once you're launched, we have growth opportunities to help you get 50,000. And once you're at 50,000 revenue, we help you grow to a quarter of a million. And then once you hit a quarter of a million, we have different supports for you to be able to, to go to over a million as well as to export. We lead two export missions a year to supplier diversity conferences in the United States. And we also lead delegations of um, women owned companies to male dominated fields. For example, if you have a software as a service company, I'm leading a delegation to the soft uh, North SAS conference. And we're also leading a delegation to Toronto to the med tech conference in 2024. If you have any conferences that you would like to attend in male dominated sectors, reach out to me and we'll see if we can put together a delegation. Okay. We also are here to support women. We recognize that women wear, wear many hats. Like Lauren was saying, she has many hats. Well, entrepreneurs and women in particular also have more hats. And with that often comes a strain of mental health. We are currently soliciting requests for participation in a mental health survey. Maitri, if you'd be so kind to grab the link from the website and just put it into the chat for people to access. The more participants we get, the better informed our, our policy recommendations, and we can affect more impact and change. Rapid fire. We have supports and a program for Indigenous women throughout Ontario to help them launch their business. We have foodpreneur biz camps to help you get and understand what um, the farmers markets and how to get and sell into that. And then we also have another uh, food camp, biz camp, to be able to help you get to national shelves like Sobeys and Loblaw. So that entire spectrum of the foodpreneur journey, we can help you with that. Ready to start a business for fundamentals is currently ongoing. Uh, we have the largest peer to peer network in women centered network in North America. In essence, you're there as a focus group, you're there as peer support, you're there as friends every month to help you grow and, and as a person, but also as an entrepreneur. It's important to be able to network, it's important to be able to have a soft place, a comfortable place to be able to raise your challenges as a business. And these peer circles is what we call them. They are wonderful opportunities to help you grow and develop. Also, we've been, that was our signature program. That's how Apero started 30 years ago. And we have circles that were founded 30 years ago that are still active and vibrant and the members are still getting a lot of benefit from participating in a circle. It also comes with the added incentive that there's micro loans available. Stage one funding is a $500 loan. Once you prove that you bought what you said you were gonna buy, we issue you a $500 grant. And then stage two funding is a thousand dollars loan first. Then um, once you provide receipts, it's a thousand dollar grant. We can get into details of how that works, but just be aware that um, this peer support network, these circles are available to, to you from our services. Biz camps about how to get ready for investments, biz camps on how to put together um, a business plan in order to get a $50,000 loan, biz camps to help you with your personal le leadership, opportunity to help green your business, right? These are all different facets of your business and we're here to help you with that. Foodpreneur again, trade investment, that's export. Now, here we go. We have five minutes to talk about this exceptional lady. Her name is Michelin Spencer. She's uh, one of my clients. She was one of my first clients at Pero about um, two, two and a half years ago, I received a call from her saying, I'm struggling and she was struggling a lot with her personal life. This is all public record. She actually presented her story to uh, Minister Tassie um, at part of last year's International Women's Day event, which is why I can share a little bit publicly about her. She was going through a particularly difficult time in her personal life. Her details, I won't share them, but she came to me and everything was falling apart. 
and we worked together and um, it was a process of transitioning her business from her ex to her and she's not a technical person but she actually owns a medical IT consulting company for um, clinics medical clinics and so we worked through taxes and we worked through who owns what and we worked through how do you manage staff and we worked through this whole messy kind of complication of she's not technical but she can lead a technical company right so that kind of confidence that she needs and she's striving and now um, she's thriving so that was one of our many many success stories we have many success stories from ideation to expert we have success stories from people who are um, recovering from major disruptions in their lives so things are we're, we're woman centric we're here to help you for the entire journey and we're very happy to help you other biz camps to throw your way right using technology um, another um, jet setter from 50 to 250,000 in, in revenue it's just it's to provide you with information that we really are here to help you with the entire entrepreneurial journey from ideation all the way up to export we are here to help and there you go so seven and a half minutes when you include um the technical um, issue of having to issue the uh share screen i kept the time i kept my word and um uh, matri if you don't mind you can just put your contact information matri is in london uh, pardon me windsor so anybody in the windsor area and then i'll put um I'll put my contact information for people outside of the Windsor area. I'll be able to assign you a counselor as appropriate and or provide you additional resources. So that that logo, that was eight and a half minutes. Thank you. Right. Perfect. Thank you very much, Renee. Um, thank you for being here and for uh, sharing that presentation. And Maitri, um, I may send the slides to participants um, afterwards just as a follow up, if that's all right with you all with you all um, and then you all and anyone joining here um, you'll be able to chat with Maitri in the breakout room um, there at towards the end of the presentations okay so if you have any burning questions for Paro um, you'll be able to chat with them uh, shortly so thank you very much Maitri thank you Renee thank you. for being here right on okay so moving on to our next fabulous presenter um, so next up um Sorry now, here we go. Do, do, do. Sorry, give me one second. Now, next up we have Libin from the forum. So Libin, I'll invite you to, uh, to join us when you're ready and uh, share your presentation. Thank awesome, you so there she is, oh. right on. Amazing. Would I be able to get screen sharing for my tech support? Yes, of course. Yes. Amazing. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Hi. Perfect. Hi. Keep working. Perfect. So, hello, everybody. My name is Olivia Mohammed. I go by the pronoun she and her, and I'm the program coordinator for the Autumn Ground Forum pitch. And the founder circle programs it's wonderful to virtually meet you and thank all you here today so i'm tuning in from hamilton ontario which is situated on the traditional territories of the erie neutral foreign wendat Haudenosaunee, and mississaugas and covered by the dish with one spoon wave plum belt covenant on which i am grateful to work and live so today i will be sharing an overview of the services and support we have here at the forum and the impact we've been extremely fortunate and honored to make over the years so let's get straight into it. Amazing. So here at the forum, we are committed to making sure that you feel equipped to achieve everything that you set your mind to at all stages of your journey as an entrepreneur, because we know that full credibly supporting you is the best way to help you achieve your version of success. So the forum unlocks education, wisdom, financial, and social capital for self-identified women, non-binary, and trans entrepreneurs at scale and other national Canadian charities tailored to the unique needs of women and provide them with the education, the mentorship, and a radically supportive community to see them thrive and to transform our economy. So we were founded in 2002. So for the past 22 years, we've extended our reach across provinces and have been able to support 14,000 entrepreneurs so they can take their businesses to the next level. And then we also have over 46,000 connections and reached 237 unique communities in Canada through our network of mentors, supporters, alumni, donors, and sponsors, and more. 
that's what motivates us every single day to keep growing our educational mentorships and initiatives. So we're committed to help entrepreneurs fast track their access to the different types of capital needed to grow their business. So at the forum, we believe that capital does not only mean financial capital, but many different types of capital, so such as knowledge, cultural, social capital, and we help our community activate their own capital in elevating one another. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, can you guys hear me just to check very um if you 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 come in and out so if you speak directly to your video your screen your clearest um can you hear me now perfectly and uh, it's a little bit foggy just a little bit closer perhaps gotcha because i'm wearing headphones so my apologies there's like some sort of interference sometimes i don't know if it's your breath but it's like it's, lauren do you hear that as well yeah, Liv, it, it, it comes kind of in and out. Are you able to present without the headphones? Yes. Sorry. I'm just That's perfect. Know. That's perfect. Oh, it's perfect? Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. Sorry, I'm just going to take off my headphones so if everyone... Livin, I'm so sorry. I think it's um we're not able to hear you at this point. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of going in and out. I'm sorry. No worries. I have removed my headphones, so I'm hoping that that's much better. I think we should care. We we are we've hit gold now with audio. Okay. Audio gold. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. We're so I'm together. <laughs> no worries. So I don't know. If you, no worries. Would you like me to start again, or do you want me to just? I can just continue going from where I'm at. So oh, it's up to you. Okay, perfect. I'm just gonna continue though. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer it in the breakout room session. I'm, I apologize, everyone. Um, so the way in which that we help support everyone is that we try to connect you and meet you where you're at in your journey and offering a number of accessible programs throughout the year, such as starting with the Forum E-Series program. So the Forum E-Series program is an intensive six-day program that provides early and intermediate stage entrepreneurs with an all-encompassing education in business and entrepreneurship. So its curriculum is thoughtfully designed to tackle relevant topics such as raising capital, money management, DEI, and more. And then we aim to make this program accessible as well. So we offer this program on a sliding scale. So that means that you can pay what you can, and that can also be zero, thanks to our donors and our sponsors. So we currently have our 2024 wait list for anyone who's interested. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to quickly pop that into the chat for everyone to reference. There we go. So next up is the Forum Mentor Program, which is presented by the Scotia Bank Women Initiative, and that pairs entrepreneurs with mentorship with for one-on-one -on -one mentorship specifically, one hour per month for 12 months, and to provide curated guidance, support, and layered perspectives. So to date, we have facilitated over 2,500 mentorship pairings, which is a milestone that we are super humbled to have reached. And I will also add the program link to the chat and the program costs $300 a year, and the registration is open all year round. And Jacqueline, who is our mentor program program manager, will soon be joining me in the breakout room segment if you have any specific inquiries about mentorship with the forum. Cool. Okay, so next up is the Audelon Brown Forum Pitch Program, which is one out of the four programs and projects that I'm very personally involved in at the forum. So this program addresses the barrier of access to capitals and offers education, one-on-one -on -one mentorship, coaching, national exposure, and access to specialized resources and networks that you can share your business pitch in confidence. So this program is actually free for everyone to participate in. And we are currently in full swing with our 2023 and 2024 cycle. So we have 12 amazing semifinalists who are getting ready to pitch in our Vancouver semifinal on February 15th. So that's next week, which is super exciting. And then again in our Toronto semifinal on February 29th. So I will add our program site to the chat if you would like to grab tickets for our Toronto semifinal. And if you would like to join the waitlist for the 2024-2025 cycle, um, it is also available on our program website. So I will add that in. Um, next up is the Forums Founder Circle presented by TD. 
which is my second program and is currently underway until June 2024. So the Forums Founder Circle provides entrepreneurs leading high growth businesses and access to specialized resources um, and advisor feedback to identify new avenues of growth and tackle challenges that come with expansion. So if you're interested in joining us for the next cohort, our waitlist is available for 2024 and 2025 on our program website. And that will also be included in the chat. Totally gotta go faster with these links. <laughs> I'm not super savvy. Um, and next up is our one of our new programs. Actually, is the Forum Growth Peer Mentorship. So this program aims to connect growth-minded entrepreneurs as to gain support when scaling their business. So guided by a mentor who's an experienced entrepreneur, peer support groups offer feedback and fresh perspectives on your business challenges and growth opportunities using a solution-based approach. So this is very short notice to announce, but our winter 2024 applications actually close today. So if you're interested in applying, I'll be adding the program site link to the chat. And again, Jacqueline, who leads the program, will be able to answer any questions that you may have during our breakout room segment. So I will add the link as well. Perfect. And then our second new program and my third program is the Forum Business Finance Essentials presented by TD. So this program is a live virtual learning experience for women and gender diverse entrepreneurs, especially Black and Indigenous women and 2S LGBTQ plus individuals. So looking to build um, their business financial confidence and capabilities. So it's a free program and it runs for two cohorts in March and April, respectfully. So if you would like to take the mystery out of your finances, applications are open until February 22nd and spots are going very, very fast. So I hope to see your applications soon. So add it to the chat. And then last but never least is our weekly virtual connects, which is a non-committal one hour weekly gathering on Wednesdays. 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern, specific to our community of entrepreneurs. So this is a time where attendees share resources, ask questions, talk through their challenges, and celebrate their wins together. So if you would like to join the conversation and expand your network of peers, feel free to sign up on our website. I will link it in the chat. And not to be absolutely biased, but it is always the best time. And every time that I pop in to just like support our team and just to celebrate everyone, so many beautiful connections and stories are shared. So I definitely recommend it as an entry point into the forum. And that's it for me. So thank you so much for having me and the forum here with you all today. I apologize for the technical difficulties in the like in the in the beginning. So I'm more than happy to connect with you guys in the breakout room, share any information that you need. Um, if you have any questions though, you can contact these emails and you can connect with me on LinkedIn under Libin Mohammed. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Livin. And you don't ever have to apologize for technical difficulties. We are much stronger than technology. So <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank so, you much. so much. Appreciate you. Um, and uh, ever, for everyone listening, you'll be able to chat with uh, with Livin and her colleagues uh, from the forum there in the breakout rooms. So thank you so, so much. Wonderful. Okay. So moving on to our next, uh, we have two more presentations for you, and then we will pop over into some breakout rooms and answer all of the burning questions. So um, next up, I'd like to introduce uh, Duania from the Canadian Small Business Women Organization. Awesome. Hi, everyone. Thank you. So uh, let much. me see if I can share my screen and actually I'm working from one screen today so this is going to be a little challenging let's see I need to present just a sec oh yes thank you Are you able to? It is just loading yet? for us. Should be there. Yes. Are we um, good? Uh, nearly there, Duenia. We have a little message that says presenter window. I I don't even see that message on my end. I see the whole screen. Let's see. Okay. Unless, do you want to do my share for me? I'm fine with that either or. Um, I can do that for you. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Let me pull up. Pull it up here. 
Yeah, because I see the full screen on mine. No problem at all. I've got it saved. So give me just a second and I will share it on my end. Okay, thank you. No problem. Here we go, share. And let me just pop it into full screen here for us. Now, Duane, are you able to see that on your end? I am. Beautiful. So you just hit me when I have to change slides and we're good to go. All right. Perfect. Thank you. First of all, thank you for having me. I'm so excited and I love doing anything that's uh, you Windsor related. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that and why in the next slide. So a little bit about me. I am the founder of Canadian Small Business Woman. I love to talk, so I'm going to look at the time right now, make sure I manage it. There we go. I am a forever optimist. I am the silver lining, sun is shining kind of girl. I think it's just, I, I think I was just raised this way. I was raised in Jamaica, so it's a happy place. I guess that's why I'm the way I am. I am a lover of life. I'm a proud University of Windsor graduate. And I'm an avid volunteer. I love doing things in the community. I am on the alumni board for the University of Windsor. I do serve on a board out here in uh, Halton region for Acclaim Health. And you can find me on a lot of committees. Anything that's community centric, I love to be involved. So that's me. Now about Canadian small business women. We have been around since 2013 and our goal is to, it's all about community for us. We started as a blog and around that blog, we built a community and this community is really comprised of women who don't grow up in an entrepreneurial household. You know, when you have a business idea and you just don't know what's next, you don't know what to do next, and you don't know who to contact to find it out, to find out what's next, I'm usually the person they come to because we walk through it all together. I also like dealing with people who are like me. I like dealing with immigrants because a lot of times the narrative for immigrants is that we are the labor force as opposed to we are people who can be entrepreneurs and who can provide jobs for others. So that's usually the people who are in my community. They have to love to learn. They have to love community. They have to love supporting each other. And that's what we do. Next slide, please. So talking about what we have, some of our fun events, I like to call them. <laughs> So our accelerator program, it just launched yesterday, <laughs> our fourth cohort that is. So our fourth cohort, and we usually have some amazing support over, I think we launched this, yes, two years ago, we launched it during that thing that we don't wanna talk about. And in each cohort, we accept 10 entrepreneurs. We usually get around 150 applicants, so it's, I usually feel really bad declining people, but we choose 10 people because we want to keep it intimate. We cover topics such as marketing, branding, public speaking, public relations, accounting foundations, startup basics. We talk about the things that fill that gap so that you know exactly what you need to do to get started. So day one, it's business model canvas. Day two, it's business planning. And it all leads to a pitch at the end of the program where I invite some of my friends from different organizations to come in and give really solid advice for these women who are trying to make that difference in their business. It's a six week all encompassing program. We take, we keep in mind that a lot of people who are applying for the program have nine to fives. So we have our schedule that is one day in the evening and then one day on a weekend for a couple of hours so that there's some flexibility because not everyone has the time to be able to do a Monday to Friday, nine to five type of accelerator program. So again, it opened yesterday. Applications are going to be open until February 29th and the eligibility is all listed there. It's pretty simple and we don't have a theme for these accelerators. So we welcome everyone, every type of business. Next slide, please, Lauren. Okay, so this Amplify Your Voice conference, we did not do any in-person events since 2019. 
last year we decided to start back. And our Amplifier Voice event last year was such a success that we decided we had to do it again. And this year, the theme is the power of the pen. We are going to have some inspiring keynotes, some publishing insights, some pointers from published authors, networking opportunity. It is really for people who want to unleash their power, unleash their stories, and want to make a meaningful impact through writing. Because a lot of times I meet authors who want to find, a, not authors, entrepreneurs who want to find a way to share their stories. And there's a little fear of writing things down sometimes. I can say that I've gone through that with trying to author a book or two and I get hung up. So this event is really to help those who are in that position who want to share their story and want to know how. Next slide, please. Our startup pitch conference. This conference was birthed a few years ago out of a partnership with Volition out of BC. They focus on pitches and we are really good at putting together fabulous events. Every year we do have a theme. Last year we did farm food and hospitality. The year before we did farm and food and we partnered with Restaurants Canada. The year before that we did CPG. Now, we haven't selected a topic for this year yet. <laughs> Applications will probably be open sometime in the summer. It is open to anyone who resides in Canada between the ages of 19 and 45. We do still accept applications if you're over 45 because there might be some businesses that might still wow us if we want to add them to the lineup. It's finalists, they usually win prizes ranging from coaching packages to consulting packages and access to many startup resources that are provided by some of our partners. Next slide. Oh, I can't see you. Wait. Next slide. Thank you. Our YouTube series, we have quite a few of them. When people email or ask for resources, I usually send them to our YouTube channel. We have a couple hundred videos on there. And there are a lot of replays from workshops that we have hosted over the past 10 years. <laughs> we do have some recurring series. We have our Ask the Expert series. We partner with um, companies like Pocketed, BDC. We just finished filming one for Alterna Savings. So we try to bring in some of those types of companies to answer questions that would come from some of our community members. Um, and then we have our on the clock series, which just started. I'm doing a 52 week. Every week I go on and talk about what I do in the business and what is to be done in the business. It's semi accountability and semi transparency so that people see exactly what we do and how we do it. We do also have an off the clock entrepreneur life series where we invite entrepreneurs to come and talk to us and tell us about your entrepreneur life, but also tell us a little bit about your off the clock life and how it intertwines. We're always looking for people to be a part of our segment. If you want to share your story with us, the link is in any of the descriptions of our videos for you to apply. And I'd like to think I'm still, I still have two minutes. Okay, next slide, please. So one of our success stories, a little bit about Kamisha. Kamisha is a highly educated marketing expert, and she was in a situation where she moved here from Jamaica to try to start a business, but she started working for someone. And it was very draining for her to learn that she was being paid pennies to do something that she knew she loved and that she knew she could do better on her own. So I was, she contacted me and we sat and we really started strategizing as to how she can really get her business going here in Canada and also revive it in Jamaica. Now, these bullet points are Kamisha's words because I did tell her about this event and I asked her, hey, what do you want to share? So yes, we did do 
quite a bit of meeting to get her started. We also did a lot of connections within the Canadian entrepreneurship community. You know, at the end, you see their strategic partnership with Startup Canada. I Startup Canada had their tour last year. And, you know, wherever you saw Duania, you saw Kamisha because I wanted to make sure that she was able to make those valuable connections because, you know, seeing how she grew from the beginning to now and the impact that I know she can have, it really, I feel like I'm responsible for making sure that she does well. So Kamisha's success is, I, I can't even begin to tell you about the brands that she have worked with over the past few years. You can check out her website. She's OS, Oasis Integrated Communications, and you can see a lot of the brands that she has collaborated with because she is an amazing marketing expert. And I am thankful that I was even able to meet her and to help her. Next slide, I think I'm over. These are some of our publications. I talked about the power of the pen. I did write my own book, Tomorrow's Another Day, but I also collaborated on some books to feature entrepreneurs so that they can share their stories. And that's the power within and voices of strength. Uh, next slide, please, because I'm behind time. I did say I like to talk. You can connect with us on all socials. You can find me as Duania McClarty Peel on LinkedIn and Canadian small business women everywhere. I do try to respond to everything as quickly as I can. Just bear with me. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much, Duania, that, for that beautiful presentation. That was wonderful. And you were right on time. That was perfect. <laughs> Thanks a million. And so uh, Duania will also be uh, present with us in the breakout rooms. So you can pop in and ask uh, further questions about those amazing offerings. Um, so thank you so much, Duania. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Cheers. Perfect. Awesome. So I'm going to stop sharing here. And we will move on to our last presentation um, of the uh, of the event today. So um, very last but not least, so there's Victoria. Oh my goodness, I love your energy. You're already here. Um, <laughs> so I, without further ado, I will pass it off to Victoria. She is here with us from the Community Development Council. Okay, thanks, Victoria. All right, awesome. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy to be here with you guys today. So yeah, my name is Victoria. I am work with the Community Development Council Durham. We are located in Ajax, but we offer services to all Ontario. And uh, we are partners. We are located together with the Ajax Welcome Center Immigrant Services. And we are funded by the Immigration Refugees Citizenship Canada, RCC. Um, so uh, one of our missions um, is to identify regional community development needs, inform relevant policy and programming while supporting and delivering effective services. We've been in Durban region for over 50 years, supporting um, housing uh, needs uh, for the community, especially Jackson Pickering, um, but also offering settlement services to all newcomer families. And uh, um, among with that, the housing and the, the settlement services, we have a, a department for the newcomer community services. And uh, some of the programs under that umbrella is the computer internet and training, newcomer service, new, newcomer youth services for age 14 to 29. And we offer the newcomer women's entrepreneurship program. We have a donations program as well community connections for socializing and you know, connecting with the community. Uh, they have uh, uh, conversation circles, um, settlement workers in schools, newcomer wellness and volunteer program as well. So we offer everything that we can. <laughs> Um, our agency. Um, I am the coordinator for the Newcomer Women's Entrepreneurship Program, and uh, as it is funded by RCC, the eligibility uh, for this program is for women who are permanent residents, conventional refugees, living in caregivers, or you know Ukrainians, Afghans with the right to work in Canada with the QAT uh, for the Ukrainians. Uh, but you never say no to anyone. If uh, you are a citizen and uh, you want some information, we're happy to, you know, uh, refer you to other programs. Some of the programs that I offer here, I always tell people to go to Paro as well. 
Um, so a little bit about the Women's Entrepreneurship Program. This is a free, uh, mostly informational program dedicated to help and empower women who are looking to start a business or grow a business in Ontario. All our materials I, are tailored to uh, who uh, women who are, have recently arrived in Canada. And when you talk about newcomers, it, there's no um, year uh, that we look at. It's just your immigration status. Um, so we offer a full month of entrepreneur training. Um, some of they are hybrid. So we offer virtual and in-person workshops. We offer one-on-one -on -one consultations with individual planning support, uh, marketing strategies, business materials. So, you know, any questions that you have, I help you uh, to guide you through the challenges or find the more information or the experts that you need to contact. Um, so yeah, we offer the access to the business community and professionals. Um, we also help with the business registrations when you are at that point, and uh, we offer networking events as well, marketplace opportunities as vendors. Um, we also offer a certificate upon completion of the training, and um, something that we are looking forward to uh, start this year is also a mentorship uh, a matching uh, program. Uh, under the the newcomers entrepreneurship uh, I think um okay awesome sorry so um here are some pictures of uh, the last uh, women in business marketplace event that we had in no on November in November 2023 um, we are trying to expand this event uh, every year. This is our third year. And um, we had 12 uh, vendors there that are part of our program that have graduated. And uh, I believe we had eight or nine partners that are community partners. And uh, every year we're trying to, you know, have bring more community partners um, to do their outreach as well and you know, in, do their information, share their information. And, but also, give this opportunity to uh, the entrepreneurs who have launched their business and are now ready to show them uh, to the community. This is a public event, so uh, we know we invite everybody to come and uh, we make sure to prepare other entrepreneurs with all the materials that they need to be ready for the event. So if they need business cards or flyers, we're happy to help them design them and print them for them just so they can get, they can have everything ready for the, for the event. Um, so yeah, this year we're going to have it in October. And uh, if you guys are interested, uh, you can let me know. I'll obviously leave my contact there. Um, here's just a little picture of uh, some of the entrepreneurs who have graduated and got their certificate. And uh, um, a little bit here is, uh, well, we have uh, uh, many success stories. Uh, we have this program for over two years now. It's a new program still, we're, so we're expanding, but we have helped uh, over 300 clients already, so we're really happy about that. There's definitely a need for that. Um, but one of the stories that I always like to share is from Asma Hassan. Um, she is a teacher, and she arrived in Canada in 2018. She's from Afghanistan. And um, she joined the program and she didn't really know what to do, uh, but she had a passion for painting. She's a, an amazing painter and she tells her stories through painting. And uh, throughout you know, the program, um, trying to identify her needs and um, her skills and her passions, um, she kind of discovered the niche to uh, do painting workshops at Therapy Oco painting workshops for children and parents. She offers them online, so it's more accessible for everybody. And um, now it's really hard to talk to her every time we want to you know, contact her. She's always busy because she has, she's told us she has over 150 clients every month. And, uh, you know, it's just very inspiring to see that she's able to use her teaching expertise and her passion for art to, you know, help people and have her business so 
Um, one of actually uh, the another success story that I would like to share, I wasn't expecting, but we do have uh, someone here, uh, Varsha, she is part of the program. And uh, um, this year, she's actually the one of the faces of uh, the Durman region, one of the Durman region's campaign. Um, they got very, you know, inspired by her story uh, coming to Canada and starting her business over 60 uh, years old and uh, her story is very inspiring too so I just want to thank you Varsha for being here today too and we're happy to help with that um, so yeah I I talk I don't talk much so I don't know I think I'm a little short on time but uh, yeah uh, something else that we offer um, is after launching support uh, we you know we help with through starting the the business but if if you still have challenges after launching your business uh, and participating in graduating the program we don't have a problem with helping you we try every month to uh, post our newsletters with tips and uh, just articles that can help you uh, maintain your business and keep growing your business and uh, we often um, have the uh, coffee and networking uh, little sessions um, those sessions we try to keep them more private more you know close to the entrepreneurs who have graduated and launched their business already through our program so that they can share their experiences their challenges opportunities and tips with uh, among the people that who have uh, participated in the program already um so um yes if you are interested in uh, collaborating with us as a partner if you're interested in joining the program if you know uh you know a immigrant woman who is interested in starting a business you can uh, visit our website or you can email me at newcomer entrepreneurship at cdcd.org i'll put it in the chat as well you can always give a call too okay so Thank you so much, guys. It's all for me. Awesome. Thank you so much, Victoria, for that beautiful presentation. Thanks a million for being here. And it's so apparent the passion and uh, commitment that we're seeing in each of the presentations today in supporting uh, female entrepreneurs. And it just, it sets all of our hearts on fire, right? So thank you so, so much. And seeing the chat and all the encouragement throughout is just such a, such a pleasure. So um, we've come to the point in the uh, the event today where the presentations have uh, finished up and we are going to move into the breakout rooms. Um, but before we do that, can I ask everyone joining that is on the call today, um, if you feel comfortable doing this, um, to all turn on your cameras, would you mind? So everybody flip your cameras on so I can see everybody together. Cause it's nice to see all of the faces together. Amazing. Amazing. Um, perfect. I'm just going to switch my, my view here so I can see you all. Wonderful. And before we move into the breakout rooms, I would just like everyone to unmute themselves and we're just going to do a round of applause. And it may sound a little bit echoey, but that's okay. Um, because this event is about supporting female entrepreneurs. So we are all each other's biggest fans. So I would just like to do a round of, of applause for everyone. So Unmute and let's all just right on. <laughs> amazing, amazing. I love it. I think like a lot of that sometimes is missing in virtual events. You know, we talk about that at Epicenter all the time. We miss the sound of applauding and clapping and the energy. So um amazing. Right on. Well, we you. can say yay. Yay. That's right. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, guys. So um, now because we're doing so amazing for time, um, we're just sensational timekeepers, all of us. Congratulations. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start the breakout rooms. And uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll go until 140, if that's okay with everyone. Can I get a thumbs up? Are we all good with that time? Is that, that's going to give us enough time, I think. Perfect. So all the breakout rooms will be labeled so you all can jump in and out of the different organizations. And uh, if you need any help at all, please send me a message and uh, I will help you best I can. Okay, so we'll start the, the breakout rooms there. Okay, and we'll see. Thank you all so much. Thank you.